वेलकम टू बायो ग्लो इफ यू लाइक दिस चैनल प्लीज शेयर एंड सब्सक्राइब टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस द टॉपिक टाइप्स ऑफ इन्फेक्शन माई सेल्फ मोहम्मद जसील ए असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ माइक्रोबयोलॉजी मार्कस आर्ट्स एंड साइंस कॉलेज आदवनाड definition of infection and disease what is known as infection infection is the biological process which takes place in the body of microorganisms following the penetration of pathogenic microorganism this penetration may result in obvious or latent disease or in a condition of carrier state thus infection is known as a successful invasion that is enlargement and multiplication of the host tissue by an organism that may or may not lead to a disease 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 is a damage or injury produced by microorganism that impairs host function it is not synonymous with the term infection classification of microorganisms based on host parasite relationship how we can classify microorganism based on host parasite relationship infection and immunity involves interaction between the host and the infecting microorganism based on their relationship with the host microorganisms can be classified as first one saprophytes saprophytes are free living microorganisms which live on dead or decaying organic matter they are found in soil and water and play an important role in the degradation of organic matter they are unable to multiply on living tissue but sometimes it may produce infection when host resistance is lowered like for example bacillus subtilis may produce infection in devitalized host tissue devitalized means it's a necrotic tissue composed of pus leukocytes etc second one parasites microorganisms that can enter and multiply in host are called parasites the parasites may be pathogens or common cells parasites first one pathogens pathogens are able to cause disease that is known as pathogens disease causing organisms are known as pathogens common cells the organisms live in complete harmony without causing damage to the host they act as a natural flora or normal flora then pathogens are mainly two types first one primary pathogens second one opportunistic pathogens primary pathogens are able to cause disease in healthy individuals also but the opportunistic pathogens cause infection when opportunity rises that is when the host resistance condition is lowered at that time opportunistic pathogens cause diseases common cells are facultative pathogens and to may cause infection when host resistance is lowered what are the different types of infections first one primary infection it is the initial infection or fresh infection caused by microorganisms is known as primary infection for example impetigo folliculitis boils and erythrasma impetigo means highly contagious infections forming sores on face folliculitis means inflammation of hair follicles boil means painful pus filled filled structure are formed under the skin erythrasma means it's a superficial skin infection causes brown scaly skin patches on the skin then reinfection it is a subsequent infections by the same pathogen in the same host are termed as reinfection example urinary tract infection and hepatitis disease second reinfection infection by a new parasite in a host whose resistance is lowered by pre existing infectious disease it is termed as secondary infection example a vaginal yeast infection after taking antibiotic to treat an infection caused by bacteria 
and second one pneumonia caused by bacteria or fungi after having an upper respiratory infection like cold that was caused by a virus mixed infections when more than one microorganism causes infections simultaneously it is called as mixed infection for example peritonitis caused by all kinds of different gut bacteria and yeast peritonitis means inflammation of the membrane lining of the abdominal wall and covering the abdominal organs focal infection it is a localized infection or sepsis such as sinusitis appendicitis and tonsillitis producing generalized effects such as vague vague means indefinite and clear character physical or mental disturbances and allergic reactions are termed as focal infections the next infection is cross infection in a person already suffering from a disease when a new parasite set up a new infection from another external source is termed as cross infection for example a urinary tract infection from an infection caused by catheter a surgical wound infection that may cause redness swelling and pus then an infection related to the presence of a peripheral or central venous access line then the most important infection that is known as nosocomial infection it is a cross infection occurring in hospitalized patients are termed as nosocomial or hospital acquired infections the most common pathogens that cause nosocomial infections are staphylococcus aureus pseudomonas aeruginosa and escherichia coli for example urinary tract infections respiratory pneumonia surgical site wound infections bacteremia gastrointestinal and skin infections iatrogenic infections the infections acquired during diagnostic or therapeutic procedures are known as iatrogenic or physician induced infections for example in the case of radiation therapy and chemotherapy necessarily aggressive for therapeutic effect and frequently produce the frequently produce such iatrogenic effects such as hair loss hemolytic anemia diabetes insipidus vomiting nausea brain damage lymphedema and infertility etc then the classification of infection based on clinical effects first one in apparent infection the infections in which clinical effects are not apparent that is known as in apparent infection they are also known as subclinical infections for example in the subclinical sexually transmitted disease such as aids and genital warts the individuals with such subclinical infections those that never develop overt illness and it creates a reserve of individuals that can transmit an infectious agent to infect other individuals in this case in the case of aids etc there is no Uh, illness is produced in initial cases it creates uh, it act as an individual that can transmit or uh, uh, infectious agent to infect other individuals then atypical infections infections in which typical or characteristic manifestation of a particular disease are not present are called a typical infections for example a typical pneumonia non viral causes of this disease include respiratory syncytial virus influenza a and b virus para influenza virus adenovirus sars and middle east respiratory syndrome covid 19 acute respiratory syndrome and measles latent infections these are infections in which parasite remains in the tissue in a latent or hidden form that proliferates and produces clinical disease when host resistance is lower when the host resistance condition is lower at that time the parasites create an infection the organisms to be in hidden form that is known as latent infection example herpes virus family herpes viridae all of which establish 
latent infection herpes virus include chicken box virus and herpes simplex virus that is hsv1 and hsv2 classification of infection based on source that is the next category first one endogenous infection these are infections in which the source is from the host on body they are also known as auto infections example bacterial vaginosis exogenous infections infections in which source of infection is external and not from the host on body example different bacterial infections like gonorrhea tetanus and syphilis etc thank you for watching this video if you like this video please share and subscribe